What's up, everybody? This is Black Nakanachi here with your Adventure Quest commentary. In this commentary, we'll be discussing the new Underrealm set, the new Darkness Champion package that you know just came out actually. And I'm here to show you what this is all about. So, we're going to start off with the Combat Practice Trainer. We're going to show you everything possible with this armor set. And I'm going to tell you a few things that I've learned so far with the equipment that I have that can go well with this set. Alright, so first, we're going to start off by equipping the set before we do any other tricks or anything else and we're going to go ahead and look at the armor set first now the art of course is wonderful only thing I don't really like is the red of course I don't really like red but other than that the set is beautiful really beautiful it's a clone of the light realm it looks better than light realm if you ask me and it's really just fantastic all right so let's see the weapon in in melee and ranged it is 29 to 35 damage in a magic form it does 22 to 27 damage all right each form is different just a little bit it's not extremely different it ain't like it's a staff or anything or a damn bow all right so this is the melee form this is the range form and we have the magic form with the glowed up eyes in the gym all right so we're going to unequip the shield to see its defenses by default fire and earth secondaries and of course darkness uh let's see the darkness defense is not the best in the game of course that's what shadow that's what the shadow cloak is for or eternal twilight's mantle all right the four set bonus skill is really defense loss which is actually pretty good if you ask me um the under realm looks really good really good let's see the defense loss will be negative ne negative eight to all defenses from attack um, it stacks of course the numbers are different actually it's really different it just, I think it depends on how many hits you succeed on and I think maybe the the weakness of the element darkness because you're using darkness um, another good thing is that it lowers the defense from all attacks not the, not just darkness you know, so that's what makes this armor really good because you can just go ahead, use this lower defense, and then switch into other weapons and do hella damage. All right. So because I'm out of SP, I'm gonna show you something. All right. So if you guys don't already know, this is the Akolov Carnage Sword. This sword comes with the Akolov Champion Package. If you don't know what that that is, that is this set right here that I also recently have bought. I think that was last week. Yep, last week. And um, with this, with this weapon here, the weapon has a special that also lowers defense. So, it, when you run out of SP, you can use the weapon for a special. That's if the special procs until you get enough SP to do any further defense loss. Plus, this weapon is special, is powerful, so it ain't like you're missing out on damage. You're actually gaining more damage because the weapons. The Aqualoft weapon special is strong as fuck. Way stronger than Underrealm's hammer. Alright, so we're going to see how much defense loss we can, you know, do at once. And then after that, we're going to do, of course, the Cleaving Corruption, which is, the, of course, the, the cheap, the real cheap armor skill that you don't need the full set bonus for. Uh, let's see. Now, I just want to inform you guys. <coughs> This armor skill, the first armor skill, is the cheapest champion armor skill that has ever came around because every other set has 200 or so SP to do the skill. This one requires 141. And of course, it has a nice little beautiful attack animation. Yes, it's the same as the others, but like the art is what really separates it, of course. So look, it has that nice little shadow light that comes to the weapon you know like coating it with darkness and then as you attack it has this nice black ash that flies off the weapon and it's just so beautiful like i cannot stress that enough about that like that's what i do like about the set like the art is so beautiful like even though in my mind i over exaggerate how it will look i thought it would look so much better but not saying this is bad, but you know, AQ is lazy, so you can't really expect much out of the set when it comes to, you know, art 
attack animation you know effects even though the this effect is not really overused it's actually in the middle it's kind of used but kind of isn't used because too much defense loss meaning like everyone would attack and hit all the time and you know if you don't like really have fun all right so <clears throat> with this armor package you get 50,000 Z tokens off the bat right but because during this time of year this is you know Black Friday Cyber Monday you know Thanksgiving you know you get an extra 25% Z tokens so of course um, what you do is you multiply the amount of Z tokens you have times 25% and you'll get that you get that 25% from that so add that to the amount you're already getting and there you go that's how you you know, know how much Z tokens you're getting it's really worth it if you ask me plus things are discounted as well until Cyber Monday um, also discounts on Z token on all Z token items 25% until of course Cyber Monday I'm sorry I meant to say that the Z token the Z token offer is till the end of the year so the end of the year you can get 25% more Z tokens when you purchase the package so that will make great use let's see and uh, 25% less that's about like 2,000 or so Z tokens because these weapons cost about like 13,000 or so Z tokens and for the cheap 143 ones like this you're gonna get a good ass deal like a good ass fucking deal so <clears throat> I recently had bought Old Spark like a few days ago while it was still had a high sell price. The sell price was like twelve thousand or so, and like I didn't know the discounts would come on that quick. So what I did was I sold my Old Spark and bought it back, and I you know gained two thousand Z tokens, and as well as Ebony Sappy form, I sold that a while ago for the Golden Gift Boxing. And I bought it back when I got my last 50,000 Z tokens and then sold it, bought it back during a discount to gain 2,000 more Z tokens, which is extremely useful. Extremely useful. Uh, I'm trying to look around the shop to see what I really might want because Old Spark, I had my eyes on this for a long time. Um, you know, the weapon is weird. You know, it looks wonderful, if you ask me. I like the shade of blue, this, you know, bluish green. Um, the weapon special is like a rain, the rain. Um, the Rainbringer, except for it's just like only three hits and it's kind of delayed. It's a pretty powerful special, really powerful special, but I've seen it miss a few times, so it might not be the best. But I'm still keeping it because I need a decent energy weapon that's not boring. Pixel Blade is boring, I do like the action balance, but it's boring. Old Bones is, you know, of course, it's a nice weapon, but I just wanted something more my style. I also used those 4,000 tokens that I got from selling and buying back Old Spark and Ebony Sebi form to buy golden gift boxes. I got, a, of course, a whole bunch of commons, a good amount of rares, and I got one ultra rare, but I didn't use that actually because nothing in the ultra rare shop I have interest in. Last time I got an ultra rare, I did pick up Thunder. Thunder is the ranged boosting Mogulin, and I really did need that because you know you use range everywhere for boomerang and a white knight skill is range i wish that this was toggle because i would buy it but it's not so i, I didn't buy it at all i just think it's fucked up how aq released two magic void switching weapons and the only thing we have is the horror show vanquisher which is really fucked up because that should be only 148 with 151 power level that's really fucked up aq could have made this tolerable you know like we want we want a good ass fucking void damage weapon you know so let's see what else um everything else i already got already got resonant frozen dragon slayer quirk of card effects hydro campus field protector samurai warlord i didn't want to get this because it's like what the fuck is the use of getting this now if i do happen to get another ultra rare you know and i didn't want anything else i'll probably get that just because just because. Um, I already have Siphon, even though I'm a warrior, I like to collect shit from my other character too. Um, let's see, Thunder, uh, just got it. Dunamis, I've been here for the longest time. Pierce of Angel of Darkness, I think that's an MP spell, so I can't really make use of that. Uh, let's see, what else? 
um, pets. I have the legendary version of Saluna, Queen of Zombies. Down in Florida, but I have them with rare, so it's still here. And it hasn't gotten a legendary tag because mine's would have gotten one because I got it right when it first came out. Seelus, I feel like this has a legendary tag, so that's why I didn't get it. But I don't, I don't really want Seelus. Not saying Seelus is bad, but you know. So I'd be glad when Bellyhoo, when when Bellyhoo has that option to get the Underrealm, because you know I did buy it. You know, so I can go ahead and buy another another set and switch over to my um, secondary. So my secondary can have fun with this because my secondary will have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I kind of wish I did buy tokens in my secondary. I probably do, but not for like the serious shit because I put all my work into, you know, Black Knight and Ashi. All right, so we're going to look at the character page here. And as you can see, beautiful, you know, intro to the armor. Black Knight and Ashi X, Ninja Rooney and King. People ask, hey, uh, did that title come with the set? No, it didn't. That's a custom title. I made it up. Of course, the titles are going to have the same shit. The same shit. See, Champion and Under. Luckily, it's a long ass name, so I didn't have to sort it or whatever. So, I did go ahead and buy the Malkarine portal, portal painting with my last 50,000 that I had. Because, you know, I want to try to collect some portals. Or at least try. So I can have access to fighting my clone. Because I'm going to put that in my intro soon. You know, like, that'll probably be my last permanent intro before I either find a better editor or, you know, otherwise noted. So, yeah, the beautiful character page. I don't know what they do with these um, 60,000 V tokens. I really don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, honestly. And so there's items in this shop that's good. Like, to be honest, I had my eye on the ultimate Dragon Lord Scythe, but the reason why I didn't get it is because it's ranged to magic. I need melee. Like, I only have one thunder, so I can't really boost this weapon too much, which kind of sucks. But I do like the, the fact that it gives out extra deadly lucky strike. But my range damage is kind of low, which is bullshit. Um, let's see, I already have enough fire weapons. The stun bow is nice, but I don't really want it. These items are gold items, so I already got all of these. Stratus Cleaver is a beautiful weapon. I think they're going to want to put that in the Z token shop. Max Bleed. <laughs> the Max Bleed is like the nerf version of the Underrealm set because it makes, me, it makes the opponent weak because it makes dark attack only. Which is fucked up. The weapon looks a bit short, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's see what else we have in the shop. That could be Z tokens. Let's see what we got. Zornado. All of these are gold. Let's see. Aloha Tika Zone. Um, I'm not even a beast. I'm not a beast warrior, so that's why I would never spend tokens on a pet unless it's a void damage pet. I wish I got a juvenile void dragon from that. From that, um from that um yeah. from the um the damn the golden gift box sorry about that my nephew stepped in the room i'm in my nephew's room you know doing the commentary because it's really loud music playing <laughs> it's really loud music playing in the other like other rooms so i had to really find some time to really do a commentary i'm trying to be the first one to do the commentary on the underrealm set all right so we're gonna go ahead and test it out in battle of course doesn't matter who we face as long as, you know, they don't whip our ass too bad. Alright, so Mr. Worm, you know, we can go ahead and just sweep him really quick. I could use the randomizer ray gun if I wanted to. The rainbow rain gu ray gun, like, that's a good-ass weapon for utility. It's not good, you know, in general, unless you're facing somebody with, like, all-around weaknesses, like void dragons and shit. But other than that, it's, it's just useless. It's only good for utility. Alright, so like I said, the Underrealm has one of the best arts. I wish that the, um, the Fallen King, was it Fallen King? No, 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 King's Ring. I wish that the King's Ring set was actually good. 
Cause I, uh, that art was really good, but this actually took my eye off who's ready. So I was actually gonna get it just for art. That'd have been a big win. A really big win, so I'm glad I didn't get it. Uh, let's see what else. Well, I don't think there's really much else to talk about here as far as, you know, this set. Oh, well, this is actually a final opportunity to go ahead and showcase it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to nerf the defenses and see what we can do. We're going to test out these tips and tricks in the battle. And we're going to see how far we can get these defenses down. Okay, so with the Lucky Strike side, this it'll deliver, you know, it takes 10 minus defenses. Not, you know, that it had defenses anyway, as you can see. Which is really good, so. Let's see how far we go. Yep, so I'm guessing it depends on how much damage I do. The saves from the monster. And the darkness weakness. Alright. So, that's really great. And I'm going to try to use the actual loss weapon to try to further the damage. Or the defense loss, of course, until I get more XP. We're going to test that out. Too bad the weapon special doesn't happen too well because the damn special is powerful. Like, I can't stress that shit enough. I feel like I was a bit long winded in this video, but oh well, as long as I was informative, that's really all that really counts, if you ask me. Alright, so we're gonna buy, we're gonna further defense loss. Alright, so as far as commentary is concerned, I don't do commentaries like that. I don't. I try to do it when it's necessary or when I felt feel like doing one but okay so when it comes to doing commentary it's a tip to do the best commentary is gather your info first because you don't want to sit there staggering the whole time doing a commentary if you don't have enough info or whatever you're doing a commentary on if you're doing it on a specific item uh, make sure you don't be nervous and don't rush yourself because I'll be catching myself rush myself a lot from commentary and that's what makes me stumble also make sure you you know have yourself ready you know take a deep breath make sure you don't do too much when it comes to explaining a certain effect of an item because that shit will get annoying and I'm not throwing shade or anything I'm just helping people that still makes adventure quest videos do better in commentaries to make it more better keep it short sweet to the point I feel like I might have overdid it this video, but that's because there was a lot to explain and some stuff I wanted to cover anyway. And let's see what else. Also, just have everything like in your mind before you start the video because if you forget, you're gonna be fucked. So the highest attack was 50 minus defense. Okay, not too bad. All right. Um, let's check my stats here in the house. Oh, well, not my state. Sorry. Let's check my stats here. Okay, that's because I, I think I'm logged out and logged it in. But alright, you guys take care and, you know, I'll work on my commentaries because I'm not the best at it. Alright, take it easy. Peace.